are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. There's no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick up over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He'll try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. More than five years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA, downtown. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, go the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, back to with the right. Big kick lands. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Great punch. Such a fast leg kick. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. with a head kick, that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. He missed with that jab attempt there. Hands high, hands high. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Straight punch land. Able to check that kick as well. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Good punch. Just misses there with the left. Well, you can feel that Breeze Octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just missed with the left there. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Wow, what a head kick! Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Good stick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. There's no kill on that leg kick. Five, Five minutes, minutes in the books. Round four him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC talked us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Big ball for land. Now we get back to range. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. And on top, this fight's gonna be over. 
Why did Drake Lee have mixed up his attack? He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Big kick lands. Nice one, two there. Big body kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? They continue to exchange. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Missed with that attempt. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Try to establish that jab. Real nice body kick lands. He's got his back now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Lee is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Visibly limping here. Just misses with a left hook there. Unable to land with that punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Hard shots landing on both sides here. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick lands. Oh, huge block! And he continues to work the body here. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. What a punch. Down defense there as he blocks the shot. Final seconds. Nice straight right lance. Right for this place. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head, 
Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. volume of strikes and a good sign too doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever oh and a nice counter there with the hook after he blocked the previous shot Lee gets caught with that punch he'd be wise to get those hands up straight right he misses nice kick Hurt him a little bit. <laughs> Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Punch over the top. into these big leg kicks. Oh, huge right hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big punch lands. Leg is hurt here, you little bit. Tags him with a flush left. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Trying to establish that jab once again. What a tricky head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, He's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Beautiful body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whoa! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Lee gets up the question beckons though for how long he still looks like he hasn't quite recovered. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Outstanding kick there by Lee. 
And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Body shot now, but it's turned back. Oh! Seconds winding down in round three. Well, that body kick was there. How about those five minutes? So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. So fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nice loop of punch. Got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Real sneaky body kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a look like that, you are on wobbly leg. Just unable to quite find that range. <laughs> Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, big knee. What a fan. Oh. Shot. Great punch landed with so much power. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of better him than me. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at the force behind that leg. Yeah. One, two there by Lee. Nice straight punch. Oh, Vintage. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Softened up here. Close guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, working inside the close guard now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good punch, Lance. Big power shots landing. Oh! Oh! That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful body kick. 
Right hand landed. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Look at the commitment to kick it in this Whoa! fight. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to oh! take that finish down now. Fifteen seconds. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure, but nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good That's night, right, Irene. Guys, you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Fifth and final round. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good night if that landed. Liver kick. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the player starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Nice punch there. Already close. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what he, he jab. Yeah. His opponent limped it a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big kick lands. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 49 seconds of round number 5. 
declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.